Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about using some basic HTML tags. So we're going to look at some of the most common HTML tags that you're going to be using in your website, and we'll use them to define a pretty good looking site. So by the end of this video, you'll have a good idea of how to lay out a bunch of content inside of HTML and display it on your browser. The first tag that I want to show you is a tag that actually is going to go up here in the head of our document. And I'm going to put it right here above the title. And right now I just have a basic skeleton of an HTML file. It's sort of like the simplest version of an HTML file. And one thing that I want to do is define something called a meta tag. And a meta tag is basically a tag that defines information about our file. So it's giving us metadata. So I can use this less than sign and I'm going to define this meta tag and I'm basically just going to use this to define the character encoding for my web page. So this is basically just telling the web browser what types of characters I'm using inside of this document. So I can say char set is equal to and then inside of these quotation marks, I'm just going to say UTF hyphen eight. And this will define the character set for my document as UTF-8, which is like a really common character set. It's the character set that I'm using. So like I said, this is a meta tag and it's used to define information about our file. I'm going to define one more meta tag and this is going to be a meta description tag. And so we can use this tag to basically give a description for our website. And this tag can be used by things like web browsers. So for example, Google could go into our file, look at this meta tag, and it can use it to display information on its search pages. So generally when you search for something on Google, a lot of times there'll be like a little description of it and they're using this tag from the file. So I can say meta and I'm going to say name is equal to description. And now I'm going to say content is equal to and now I can type the description for my website. So I could say like, this is an awesome website. And now we have this description, which is just like, this is an awesome website. And I'm going to go ahead and end this tag. So I want to show you guys uh, one concept or, you know, one thing in HTML, which is uh, HTML attributes. Now we have these HTML tags. So this is a meta tag right here. This is a meta tag. But inside of these tags, we have things called attributes. Sometimes people call them attributes. Sometimes people call them properties. Basically, we're passing this tag some information. So I have my meta tag and I'm giving this tag some custom information. So inside of this meta tag, I'm telling it what type of information I want to define. So I'm telling it that I want to define a description and I'm telling it what that description should be. So a lot of times in these HTML tags, you can pass them attributes or properties and those tags will be able to use those attributes and properties to do their job. So this meta tags job is to define metadata about the file. And when we pass it these attributes or properties, we're giving it the information that it needs to define that metadata. So a lot of times inside of our HTML tags, we're going to have different attributes and we're going to have to give those tags different information. So just keep that in mind. And these meta tags kind of do a good job of showing that because they take, you know, like this one takes two attributes. So those are two tags that we can define up here in the head of our document. Now let's move down into the body of our document and we'll start having some fun. So the body of the document is where we can put all of like the actual content for our website. So all the stuff that you see on the website is generally going to go here inside the body. Now, the first tag I want to show you guys is basically a tag that we can use to define a header or like a title on our website. So over here I have this hello world, but I'm just going to get rid of that because I don't really like it. Imagine that I wanted to give my website a heading, right? So I wanted to define like the heading for my website. Well, over here I can use something called a heading tag. And the way that we write this heading tag is with less than sign. And I'm going to use this H and then after H, I'm going to give this a number. So I can give this a number either one through six. So I can give it a two, three, four, five, or a six. And this will basically spit out a header for our website. So header one, let's just say that this is going to be Mike's 
website and I'm gonna use this ending tag right here. So this is an example of a tag that's gonna take some text input inside of it. And now when I go over here and I refresh my page, you'll notice that Mike's website shows up and it's nice and big, right? So I have this nice big header on my website and it's, you know, the text is really big and it looks really good. And in addition to defining an H1, I could also make this an H2. And so now when I make this an H2, it's gonna be a little bit smaller. So you see that it shrunk a little bit and I can make this an H4 and it's gonna shrink even more. And I could go all the way down to an H6, which is the smallest size of header that HTML is gonna allow us to define. And that's gonna be a pretty small header. So anytime you wanna sort of like announce something or you wanna like title, maybe like a section of a document, you can use these headers and the headers will look a little bit bigger and bolder than just normal text would. So in addition to having a header, maybe we'll leave this as an H2. I can also define just regular textual information. So I can define like a paragraph on my website. And if you're writing like an article or a web page, a lot of times you're gonna wanna use a paragraph, right? You're, you're gonna wanna have some text on your website. So I can make what's called a paragraph tag. And a paragraph tag is just gonna be P, and then we're also gonna need an ending tag. And now any text that I write in here is gonna go inside of its own paragraph. So I could write like, this is my paragraph. And now when I refresh my page, you'll see that this text showed up in its own paragraph. And what's cool about paragraphs is that they'll automatically sort of format themselves. So I could actually make another paragraph right below this. So we could say this is another paragraph and this paragraph will automatically space itself out and it'll be below this other paragraph, okay? So we have this paragraph and then we have this paragraph and they're kind of just like lined up like that. And you can put as much text as you want inside these paragraphs. And generally, whenever you're writing out like a block of text, you're gonna wanna use this paragraph tag. Now, we can also style some of the elements inside of this paragraph. So let's say that I wanted this word here, paragraph, to be bolded. Well, I can use another special HTML tag, which is the bold tag, and this will make this word bold. So I can do less than sign, and the bold tag is just a B, and then you wanna end it over here. So inside of these open and closed bold tags, we can put any of the text inside of a paragraph or inside of another place on our website that we want to be bold. So now when I refresh this page, you'll see that paragraph is bold. I can also use another tag. So instead of making it bold, we can make it italicized. So I could use an I right here instead of a B. And now instead of being bold, this text is gonna be italicized. And you can actually embed these tags inside one another. So I could use the bold tags and the italics tags. So over here, I'll take this bold tag and I'll take this other ending bold tag. And inside of the bold tags, I'm gonna put the italics tags and then I'm gonna put the paragraph. And now we'll have a bold italics paragraph, just like that. So it's just italicizing one of the words and bolding the word at the same time. So that's a really great way for you to, you know, you could italicize certain words or you can bold certain words and it really makes it easy just by using those tags. Another thing that we can do is we can control the layout of the document. So. One of the things with HTML is that it lays out our web pages in a very specific way. And I wanna kinda of show you how that happens. So when HTML lays out our web page, it basically takes the layout that we define here inside the body and displays it over here on the web page. So the order that we have the elements here in the document is the order that they're gonna show up on the browser. So if I was to cut out this paragraph and paste it up here above the header, now my document's layout and structure will reflect that. So now the paragraph is gonna be above the website, uh, the website header, and then this other paragraph's gonna be below it. So the way that you order these tags inside of HTML is the way that they're gonna show up on the website. And the other thing is HTML doesn't necessarily care about the way that we format this file. So in other words, HTML doesn't care about the white space. In other words, if I made two extra lines here, you might think, okay, now there's gonna be two extra lines between the paragraph and the title, right? Because there's all this space inside of here, but that's actually not the case. When I refresh the page, nothing happens. 
HTML lays itself out and orders itself out using these tags. And so it doesn't care about any of this white space that's inside of our files. It really just cares about what's inside these tags. So imagine that we wanted to create some white space, right? And I'm just gonna put this header back up here so it's a little bit easier to read. I could actually create a new line. So let's say here inside of this, after this header two, I wanted to make a new line. I can use another HTML tag, which is called a break. And the break tag will basically create a new line in our HTML document. So I can just do a less than sign, a BR, and then we're gonna do a forward slash, and we're gonna do a greater than sign. And you'll see now, when I refresh this page, there should be a space between the title and between this first paragraph. So you can see that we have this space here. And you can use as many of these break tags as you want. I can make two of them and now it's gonna be even further down. So these break tags can be really good to kind of break things up. Another tag that I can use is called the horizontal rule tab. And the horizontal rule tab will basically give us a straight line right across the website that's gonna help us to separate some of our content. So I can make that tag, I can say HR, and then I'm gonna do a forward slash, and I'm gonna do a greater than sign. And so you'll notice that this HR tag was a lot like that BR tag that we used before. And this is another special type of HTML tag. So this is a tag that's called a single tag, right? So over here in this header two, we have one tag, and then we have this other ending tag. But sometimes there'll be tags, for example, like this horizontal rule tab, where you don't really need two tags, like there's nothing that needs to go inside of them. And so it's just gonna be a single tag. And a lot of times with these single tags, you'll format them this way. So you'll write out the name and then you'll use this ending sign and then you'll use this greater than sign. And actually in certain cases, you can actually just get rid of this forward slash, but we're gonna keep it in because it's like technically correct HTML. So now you'll see that instead of a break here, we're gonna have a horizontal line. And this horizontal line is basically just something we could use to break up our content, right? You could put, uh, you could even put like another one in here and it might style it, right? So you could have like a double line there, whatever. And the horizontal rule will go all the way across the page. There's also a couple other tags that we can use to control the size of our text. So down here in this paragraph, let's say that we wanted to make uh, one of these words bigger. For example, let's say we wanted to make this bigger right here. We can use two tags called big and small, and they'll actually make our text a little bit bigger or smaller. So I can do the big tag here, and I'll do the ending tag. So this works just like all those other tags where anything that goes inside of this big tag is actually gonna get bigger. So now, watch this, this right here. When I refresh my page, it's actually gonna get a little bit, little bit bigger and you can see that it did. And so I could do the same thing with this is tag down here. Let's make this bigger as well, just to really illustrate this. And now when I refresh this page, the is tag is also gonna get bigger. So it doesn't get that much bigger, but you can use this to kind of control how the text looks like. Maybe you want some text to be a little bit bigger or smaller. I can do the same thing, but with small tags. So here on this my word, I'm gonna give this a small tag. So we'll say small, and then again, we're gonna end it. And now watch the my right here. This is gonna get smaller. So you can see that it shrunk a little bit. So using those big and those small tags can help us to control the size of the text on our website. We can also use other tags uh, called subscripts and superscripts. So this can be used to format like subscripts and superscripts, especially if you're doing something like math, you're gonna wanna use something like this. So I'm gonna go over here into this paragraph and we'll create a subscript and a superscript. So imagine that I wanted to like type out the chemical formula for water, right? We could say H2O but this two should actually be a subscript, right? It should be like a small little two right down uh, below H. So I can use this sub tag and I can surround this two with the sub tag. And now this is gonna be like a little bit smaller. So you'll see here we have H2O, so it's formatted correctly. I could also do the same thing with a superscript. So uh, another good example would be like math. So I could say like, maybe we wanted to write out 10 squared, so like 10 to the power of two, I can use this superscript tag, and this will make this a superscript. 
So now we have 10 squared. So these are all like little HTML tags that you can basically just use to format the text on your website. And when HTML was first written, you have to understand that websites were just all textual. So nowadays we have like a bunch of images and videos and all these different things on our web pages, but you know, generally HTML was just used to write out text. And there were some images and some other stuff, but there's a lot of HTML tags that just deal with formatting your text. So these are all tags that can come in handy and you can definitely use them to format text inside of your paragraphs, or you can use any of these tags inside of other elements. So I don't want you to think you can, that you can only use these tags inside of like a paragraph. You can use these tags anywhere that there's text on your website. So we could use these up here in the header or you could use them in any other HTML tag that you want. So those are just some basic tags. Obviously there's a bunch of these tags that we can learn and we're gonna get into more of them. But what you wanna do is really get a handle for the basics. And so this is really like the basics of HTML, things like headers, horizontal rules, breaks, paragraphs. Get a handle for the basics and practice like fleshing out different websites using only these things. And then when you move on to more complex HTML, you'll be better off for it because you know the fundamentals. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.